So what I'm doing right here is loading up this giant log onto the mill. It's a little longer than the mill can handle actually. I think it was 17 feet long. You see where it flares out there where I felled it. So I'm trimming that off. And a lot of this work, because I don't have hydraulics on the mill, has to be done with the hydraulics of the tractor. You'll see that in a little bit here. The other problem is because the log flares out so much, I have to trim it with the chainsaw before I can fully run the mill all the way up and down. And that does take some time. This tree was actually storm damaged. When I got to it, the entire top was completely broken off and rotting on the ground. In fact, there was really no top to be seen. Uh, there were no branches, it was just one big broken off piece at the top. But luckily the rest of this tree was in fantastic shape as you can see. Milling these big logs is really rough. It's, I mean, I've maxed out the mill. You can see it's a lot of chainsaw work for such a big log. It's a lot of turning with the tractor, which is hard on the mill and hard on my can hook. But we're almost done. Well, that's the end of milling for today. We've got an eight by 12 by 16 feet and six inches sitting here on the mill, white oak, absolutely beautiful timber. The reason I did this today is because I called up a mill earlier and they wanted $655 for this beam right here. I had a couple logs sitting around, so it's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth $655. The sun's going down, we're gonna get cleaned up. Take this thing down to the shop and uh, got one more tomorrow. Can't wait.